Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman from Genus, and I'm the designer of this 3D rig, the Genus 3D Hurricane rig. Now, why do you need to shoot 3D with a big, or relatively big, rig like this? Well, you need two cameras, one camera for each eye. So there's one camera for the left eye, one camera from the right eye. So I hear you asking, why don't you just mount those two cameras side by side? It would be much simpler. Well, the problem is that the amount of 3D that you have, the depth of the 3D, is governed by how close together or how far apart the cameras are. And for good 3D, if you're shooting drama or if you're shooting documentaries and things like that, typically you need a camera separation of between an inch or 30 millimeters and 40 millimeters. Now, that's not very much. It's about that much. Now, if you try and mount two cameras side by side, you're not going to be able to get them close enough together, especially when you're putting your pictures on a big screen. The bigger the screen that you show the pictures on, the bigger, the further apart, the bigger the separation between the left and the right views become. So if you're doing something for the cinema or for big home, cinema, uh, home theater, then you really need to have those cameras close together. So that's why we have this type of 3D rig. This is called a beam splitter rig or a mirror rig. In this box here at the front, there is a halfway mirror, a 50-50 mirror. So half of the light comes straight in and goes to this top camera here. The other half of the light is reflected by the mirror down to this lower camera here. And in fact, if we look into the mirror box here, you can actually see the two lenses superimposed one over the other. So you can actually see that by using this configuration with the mirror, we're able to optically get the cameras extremely close together. And in fact, if I um, turn the interaxial control, the interaxial changes the separation between the cameras, I can actually bring that distance down to nothing. So I have zero separation. If I want more 3D, I turn the handle, I move the cameras apart, and I have more 3D, a deeper looking picture. So this gives me infinite control over my 3D. And if you're serious about doing 3D, you're gonna want a rig like this. There are, there are one piece 3D cameras around that have two fixed lenses. And they're, they're great for certain applications, but with a camera with fixed lenses, because those lenses are a set distance apart, the camera governs the type of scene that you can shoot. Whereas if you're a cinematographer or a filmmaker, you don't want that restriction. You want to be able to shoot any type of scene and create the scene the way you want it, not the way the camera says it must be. So with fixed lens cameras, you are tied to what you can do by that separation, that fixed separation between the lenses. But with a beam splitter rig like this, you can put those lenses at any separation you want so you can shoot any type of scene from drama, documentary, up to natural history and landscapes. Now this rig is very low cost. It's really simple and really easy to use. I've been shooting 3D for six years now and I also film severe and extreme weather. So I needed something that was very portable that I could take anywhere in the world, set it up very, very quickly because weather changes very quickly. So you don't want to be messing around, fiddling around with very complicated rigs. So I designed this rig. It packs into a small flight case about the size of a 1600 Pelican case. So it's very small. The whole rig weighs about six kilograms. So it's very light. And you can build it from scratch out of that flight case to being built and ready to go, lined up in about 15 minutes. And if you go and talk to some of the other rig manufacturers, I think you'll find it takes a lot longer than that in general to, to set a rig up. We have the very basic controls that you need. We haven't added anything that's superfluous on here, so that keeps it simple. There is an adjustment on the lower camera down here that rolls the camera, so that allows for any twist in the camera or that, or that particular camera. Then up on the top camera here, we have an adjustment for the left and right, the interaxial, the spacing between the lenses. There is an adjustment for the convergence, and this, this, this control chooses what will appear to be on the screen, what will be behind the screen, and what will be in front of the screen. And it simply rotates this top camera. And then the final uh, main adjustment is this one here, which adjusts the tilt. 
So this makes sure that the cameras are both pointing in the same directions. It's really that easy. It is very simple to use, very quick, very easy to set up. The price, eight and a half thousand US dollars. Uh, we have them in stock. They're shipping now. Um, I hope you'll take a look at them. Thank you very much. And what kind of cameras can you use with this rig? Right, that's a good point. The Hurricane uh, 3D rig works with a wide variety of cameras. It was designed to use primarily around lightweight, low-cost cameras. In this case, we have a pair of Canon XF105s, which work very well. But it will take much larger cameras if you choose. We've had Red Ones on the rig, we've had Sony F3s, EXs, EX1s, EX3s, Canon DSLRs, huge range of cameras. The mirror box here, this front assembly, actually moves up and down. We can change the height of this for different cameras. All, all cameras have slightly different heights. We can allow for that by moving this box up and down, so we can take a huge range of cameras. So, you know, little baby cameras like the 105, which does a very good job in 3D, really nice little camera, all the way up to Red One, even Alexa, which is a much bigger, much heavier camera. We, ha we also have um, an additional bolster kit that goes in here that triangulates and reinforces the rig if you are using very heavy cameras, and that's a, an optional upgrade. In the future, going forwards, at the moment, this is an entirely manual rig. We'll have full electronic control over it. You'll be able to motorize the rig for remote operation, for use on Steadicam and things like that. Uh, we'll have remote focus systems, everything. So you buy the basic rig to start off with, learn how to do 3D, and then it will grow with you as your requirements grow uh, and as you move forwards. We, we think this is going to be a, a really good way to get into 3D. Cool, and could you tell us about the DV Black Diamond Award? Well, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a really good mood today, and you know why? Our rig, the Genus Hurricane rig, the rig that I designed, has just won a DV Black Diamond Award. I'm really chuffed. I'm really pleased. Uh, thank you for the uh, people that voted for us. Uh, I think this is really good. The first product I've ever designed as a professional product, and it's won an award. That, I'm really pleased with that.